Greetings everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to make another Honest Review video. I know I've done one for Devil May Cry 5, this time I'm doing it for the Yakuza as a whole series. And I'll give you my opinion and kind of like a retrospect about the series in my opinion. So if you guys have been on my channel for probably all my lifespan, all my lifespan on my YouTube channel, been there from the beginning, you know that I'm having a big, I'm a big massive fan of Yakuza, loving the series a lot, and there is a few good reason why I like the series a lot. It means a lot to me to this day, it's one of my favorite fran modern franchises that's in the modern era of video games because now video games nowadays is filled with garbage online games and just games are just literally just there to make a quick buck off there are some good ones here and there but the majority of those of them were basically first person shooter related or freaking like third person or some stupid kind of garbage freaking online games Yakuza is one of those games that actually was pretty good so let me tell you guys the reason why I like about the series. So, in 2017, let's start with that. 2017 was like the year I got introduced to this series through a YouTube video. So I watched a YouTube video about this game. Just, you know, a random funny moments from a YouTuber. So, I watched, I, I liked it, and I watched a bit of gameplay, and I was like, holy shit, this game's actually awesome. I bought Kiwami. I didn't buy Zero first, so I bought Kiwami. It was pretty cheap. It was like you know, like was like twenty bucks or something like that. Probably less than twenty bucks. Probably like ten bucks or fifteen bucks. And man, it was worth it. And I was like, at the time, you know, I was kind of done with video games at the time. You know, um, I lost touch in video games. I didn't care much about video games at the time. So playing something like Yakuza was a big deal for me. It was a big deal, and I like beat 'em ups. Like beat 'em up, friend. Haven't played a beat 'em up, beat 'em up game in a long time, so I like beat 'em up games. So I went in, played Tekken. Uh, Tekken, sorry. <laughs> played Yakuza, um, Yakuza Kiwami. Enjoyed it. When I first saw Kiryu, I thought he was like the anti-hero, like an anti-hero kind of character. You know, I'm not like saying, oh, he's a good guy or whatever. He's like an anti-hero. He's a good, not a good guy, not a bad guy. He's doing these things on his own. It was a pretty, like, cool thing. And I didn't know at the time was, oh, this game just had, only has Japanese voice, but English subtitles. So, yeah. That's one of the, the games about it. And loved it. Like the, like the character, like Kiryu, Nishiki, uh, Shintaro Kazuma. Um, Shikashiwagi, Reina, Yumi, Haruka, Majima. I liked the characters, I liked the Majima Everywhere system. It was amazing. The story was really good and I got really invested in the story and I got really invested with the characters. Mostly the characters in the story. The characters are way more fle are fleshed out. It's about like something that's like kind of like mafia feel. Yeah, it has like a mafia feel to it, so it's kind of look, f it's kind of like in familiar like territory because you know as a young kid but GTA is kind of like a crime based type of game like it involves mafia and stuff so it's something in the familiar territory and no GTA Yakuza, Yakuza is not a GTA game you need to literally look yourself in the mirror and just I don't know look yourself in the mirror and just punch yourself in the face because Yakuza and GTA are not the same exact One's a free roam game, one is a semi free roam, and it's a beat em up. So, that's what it is. Anyways, about a month later, after like enjoying Yakuza Kiwami, I played Yakuza Zero, and boy oh boy, Yakuza Zero, I had high hopes for Yakuza Zero. And boy oh boy, I wasn't disappointed. Actually, I got more out of it. I got more out of the game, you know, and I was like, man, I wasn't disappointed when I was like, I had very high hopes because Yakuza Kiwami, I loved it so much that I get went to zero and my goodness, the game got, the game is a lot better, like way better. You play as Majima, 
like you know for like Majima like Majima's story was really interesting and seeing a different side of Majima was something in the behold you know it was something to behold and Kiryu was still being Kiryu at the time so and I was more of a Majima person than a Kiryu person at that time because Majima he's a character that made me fucking die in laughter every time he pops in and just being as the goofiest fucking character but being as well serious as well so he got a mix of both characters and I really enjoyed it and liked it I really enjoy it and like it so much and then like seeing Majima's fighting styles and all that kind of stuff and the story about the whole like you know the empty lot and everything and the characters were a lot more bigger a lot more bigger characters and all that kind of stuff it was phenomenal I loved it I loved it and that game single-handedly made me love the series in literally in a month and a spam of a month made me love the series that quick. I never seen a game series made me love and heck Yakuza 0 was a game I was addicted to it with the freaking real estate mini game and the the freaking club. I used to be like sit playing it for hours non-stop literally I never had that to a video never spend like too much hour in one thing in a video game like for a long time like normally I do that for games like GTA, games like you know Tekken, but for Yakuza, my goodness, it was insane. It was crazy. And so I went inside and say, hey, I have a PS3, let me go ahead and play the whole series again. Let me play the whole series, let me go all the way. I played 4, 4 was you know, was really good, but the story about the whole Rubble Bullets just kind of ruins it. Even like when I pre-played I was like, uh, the story's kind of ass, at the end was kind of shitty. Like seeing Saejima was pretty cool and all that stuff, and 5 was a piece of crap. Then I played 6, and 6 was, you know, was new, and new engine, new learning curve, and all that kind of stuff. I enjoyed it, liking it. Like all things were good in the world, even the spin-off title, like the Judgment series. The Judgment series, that was another series I really like. I really enjoyed the Judgment series, loving it, enjoying it seeing a different perspective like it's a basically a whole different series within a, a well-established series with the, within the Yakuza Z universe yeah, it has nothing to do with any like the main characters so that's pretty good to see like, a different side you know but still feel like a Yakuza game loving it love judgment it was something new and completely different but kind of kept the same like fighting plane then I believe, you know, when you, after Yakuza 6 is done and Judgment done, the next thing they're gonna do is 7. And I was like, I was pretty excited for Yakuza 7's release. Here's the thing, when they re revealed the main character, Ichiban for the first time, I was like, yeah, he was a pretty cool, like, yeah, he was a pretty cool character, you know. Pretty cool, looks kind of kind of a chill person. I was like, alright, chill type character, a little different. That's cool, that's cool, that's cool. Then I seen like the trailer of his tattoo reveal trailer. I was like, he's a dragon. I was like, holy shit. Okay, this guy I could take this guy seriously. Then they get, and I was like, okay, I'm kind of getting behind this guy. I kind of getting behind him. You know, feel like I'm getting behind him. And I was like thinking in my mind of like saying, okay, what kind of fight style he's doing? It's, like since like you know, judgment, judgment brought back the switching style system. I was like, they gotta use judgment, the judgment type of gameplay, but make it like bigger, or just like make it like you know Ichiban related. Like, what kind of moves he's gonna do? What kind of styles he does? Is he gonna be fast? Is he gonna be strong? Is he gonna be defensive? Is he gonna be doing charge attacks? Like, there's like the possibility are endless. What kind of heat actions he's gonna do? What kind of modes he has? It'll be kind of cool to see all that shit happen. But as fate would ha have. They completely changed the whole gameplay aspect, and then the more trades I see about this guy, this guy becoming from a character that it could ha had a lot of potential. He does had a lot of potential to just a character just winning. Just ugh. it was and just a goofball. There's that type of goofball that I can laugh at. There's two type of goofball. There's goofballs I can laugh at and I can enjoy. 
There's goofballs I don't enjoy. He's fallen in the second category. I can't take this guy seriously, the stuff he does. And adding like a, a JRPG element that completely kills the game for me. It kills it. It completely kills all momentum. So basically, I just didn't understand why they want to change the gameplay from a beat em up, a beating the shot somebody to a to a JRPG, a game that felt like is more more into the Final Fantasy Persona fans instead of Yakuza fans. Which it was a pain in the ass to deal with and a lot of people's first Yakuza game was that game right there. And I said this many times to people, do not start the game, don't start with that game. Do not start with that because if you start with Yakuza 7, you have no idea what these characters are. You will say Ichiban's like the best main character. In reality, he's not the best main character. He's probably one of the worst main characters. I would say he was a wasted potential of a character in my opinion. I wish the game could have been, you know, more okay, like, you know, his fighting style would be interesting. But he uses the bat and the way he pulls the bat off the ground, that is some fucking comic book freaking cringy anime shit the game becomes an anime fest is another one of those fucking jojo a goddamn fucking i don't know some attack on titan kind of shit and i was like why stuff like this has happened to my yakuza what happened it was terrible one of the things about Ichiban I liked was his backstory. His backstory was really good and it was explained the entire thing. Like how what happened in his like he was in his, when he was a kid and all that kind of stuff. You know, and all that kind of thing. It was pretty good. But you cannot but okay, the story was decent. When I looked at the story, I was like, this the story was decent. I don't say like it was amazing. It was decent. It was it was good. It was okay. But it doesn't excuse the gameplay and they just changed the gameplay and I was like legitimately disappointed of like how in the hell you and then to make it even more ridiculous they add in uh, classic characters like Daigo, Kiryu, Majima, Saijima bringing these characters why you bringing these characters back for some reason it's just beyond me when i first saw them revealing i was like okay are they trying way too hard to sell this game and i felt like they did and the only moments i care about are the moments when these characters are there because these are established characters and these are characters we grew i grew up on like ichiban was such a goofball that literally i just want to see kiryu i want to see majima saijima a lot more daigo a lot more like Jesus Christ, it completely kills the game completely. If you just don't if you don't bring in Kiryu, like it literally makes the ending of Yakuza 6 meaningless. Him basically saying that okay, I'll keep the fucking secret of Onimu uh Onimucha or whatever the fuck. I forgot like the plot of that, that game. I said okay, presume me I'm dead so I can save my family. And then he came back in the Yakuza as like a, a, a bodyguard for Watase. I was like, why? You're basically back to the Yakuza. The thing that, the one thing that you stay away from. Uh, heck, I mean like, I, I think uh, the, the the story is, once you're a Yakuza, you're always a Yakuza. You'll never leave. Like, bro, like leave the Yakuza Kiryu, like leave him alone. Here's the thing, Daigo didn't force him to come back like he was in like Yakuza like through 2 through 5. Like this is like he came back on his own will. It just no one just forced him to come back to the Yakuza to help someone's mess. It never was that. It was... And... Completely basically saying that the Tojo clan and the Omen Alliance are both gone now because of the cops and all the politics. 
completely just basically say, yeah, we're done with the Tojo clan, we're done with the Last. It was really, really sad. It was really fucking sad when I heard it. I was like, oh no. No. The two clan, the two most strongest clan are just gone now. It means there's just like nothing to fight for or something. It was... Some of the stuff was really just disappointing and I was sad about it. After that, basically, so... After that basically horrible taste in my mouth was gone, the next game was Lost Judgment and that game kind of brought me back. I liked Lost Judgment's uh, story. The story was really good, but not as good as the original. The original has a way better, I think the story like is way better than that one. And the story of Lost Judgment is kind of like all deal with suicide and murder and all that kind of like double serial killer. It's like you have the teacher who basically become a basically avenging the guy who killed who basically bullied that one guy into basically killing himself the story was about basically suicide and all that kind of stuff like some stuff that are just literally just i believe that okay it's a bit dark i wouldn't lie it's dark the judgment games are basically well known for their, their dark storylines but the story i felt like i don't know wasn't memorable as let's just say the first game the first game, you know, about the mold and all that stuff. The catch were great, all that stuff. I think I liked the first one way more than the second one, in my opinion. It was still a good sequel. It's kind of like Lost Judgment is like the basically the Yakuza Kiwami of the Judgment series. You know, it's a good game, but Yakuza the Kiwami has a bit, of, a bit of a better story than you know that. And Yagami as a main character is not the best. You know, I'm not saying. If I put him in like a tier, I put him like a B tier. A B tier character. And he's better than Ichiban in terms of like, you know, characteristics. You know, personally. That's just something I'm saying. Like, he's a bit goofball. So. Now, here comes another question that I've been, I said in the early video. Why I like this series so much. Well, it's pretty simple. This series got me back into video games. If you have followed my social medias, you know that my profile picture are basically on Instagram and my YouTube profile picture are the same of Kiryu and have a kid like the font and all that kind of stuff. The reason being the series uh, brought me back to video games and it was a series I have discovered all on my own. I watched YouTube videos of it but I felt like I discovered this series on my own. That's why I felt like I felt like I discovered this series played it and enjoying it without you know at the time i don't know much people that know about this series so me, basically me like you know liking the series was a lot easier instead of someone you play a game series and that's uh, you know and, uh, let's just say a friend of yours or like i don't know some like a, a buddy of yours basically keeps talking about it and saying how fucking great it is like like 99.9% .9 of the time and you feel like you know that stigma of the game kind of lost and you feel like no it's not, it's not that great compared to like someone doesn't know about the series and you just know the series on your own learn things about it and you know a lot more things about it it's a lot more better it's more comfortable it's more relaxing feel in my opinion so yeah, that's definitely all I have to say about the Yakuza series. That's all I have to say. It's such a wonderful series and I'm a bit now worried when it comes to the future of the series. Because I've heard that the Judgment series might come to a close. There's not going to be a third one, which is fine, which I won't mind. I'm afraid what's going to happen to Tekken, uh, to, not Tekken, uh, sorry, um, to Yakuza 8. I'm very worried and I'm scared about what they're going to do with the series moving forward. If they're going to continue with the, uh, the JRPG elements, I just cannot be continuing the series. Uh, I'm sorry. Even like I, if the story was even a lot better. What's the, the part I like about Yakuza is the characters and the gameplay. If you fail at the, both these departments, then what the... Then basically, if you fail on both these departments, the, the story has no point. There's no point with the story. That's why I like the Yakuza in the first place. The characters and the gameplay. 
like the characters that got me attracted to makes me like the story if you have a character a video game character that doesn't attract to me it doesn't like i was like okay i felt like you know doesn't like i was like oh relatable or saying like has like you know like symbols of like nice group personality or whatever and all that kind of stuff your story doesn't mean shit to me your story doesn't give a i don't give a damn about your story doesn't matter if you're this character is the goofiest story the goofiest fucking character have ever been written by anybody but you have like a goddamn top tier story i don't care the top tier, tier story i don't care about it if the game is the only thing that you're good that you, you that gives me a form of entertainment then that's it i can just go on playing the gameplay and that's it i don't care about the story no character development nothing it's play from the, the game play the game and that's it or make that game as part of like you know a time you know just a time killer if you got what I mean. So that's one of the things I like about Yakuza. One of the main things. If you and to me like in gaming in general, if you have very good gameplay and if your character is really good and I actually like the characters, means means that your story, I'll be way interested in the story. But if you don't have those, then what's the point of being interested in the story? Like I'll have no interest. Mostly in the character development because there's some of my video game characters are just I find like they're pretty goofy and pretty like lame. There's some of them like I don't know like GTA for example. The characters are amazing and the gameplay is awesome. I mean, the story is really, is really amazing. It's Grand Theft Auto, so they're always gonna have that high class, high quality, high end, just good stuff. So for example, just like just to give an example. Heck, Devil May Cry can give you an example for that. Um, I like the gameplay and I like the characters. It means I like the story. So now I definitely know my perspective in, certain, in terms of things. I'm not saying like, oh my god, I care about the story way more than the gameplay. Or, I care about the gameplay more than the story. Here's the thing, I know it's a bit of a, off topic. If you're a person that just cares about the story, just go watch a movie or something. Just don't play video games. Video games, it's about having fun you play shit ha okay imagine if you play pac-man i was like what's the story about pac-man oh my god story of shit i was like it's an old fucking game for love of god <laughs> for love of jesus <laughs> but anyways back to the topic at hand the yakuza series is such a wonderful series and i love this series to still to this day i'll probably enjoy it a lot more and their games are replay the replayability of those games are pretty high i can just like you know not play it for a month or two and i always come back to it and have in the same amount of joy i had every single time so i went a bit of off top i have to say something like that just to give people a bit of like understanding my perspective in video game how i felt like how like to me video games felt like it's like yeah it's a-okay -okay. so yeah, that's all I have to say. Thank you guys for watching. And, uh, yeah, one thing. I will not be making videos every single week. I'll make videos maybe once every two weeks, once every month. Because, you know, I'm a bit busy. And you know, maybe right now I'm on summer vacation right now. So I'm just chilling. I'm going to try to pull some content, you know. Try to think about different things. And I'm gonna tell you guys the next video I'm gonna make. The next video I'm gonna be making is gonna be my honest review of Metal Gear Solid. I have to really make a separate video about this. Even though I made my experience splash review, this one is gonna be a lot more um, simpler and easier. That could be that video, or maybe I can make another honest review or honest opinion. Another game franchise, this time might be Tekken, maybe. So, guys, leave the comments down below. You guys want Tekken or Metal Gear Solid? I can just make one of these two videos. So, yeah. That's the end, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.